there. Now can you hear her back? Look at the batter. Yeah. So yeah, we're, we're just, yeah, so um, why don't you guys introduce yourselves real fast oh. since we got new, new people on camera. Oh, um, I'm Angelica, I'm a 2D artist. Hello. <laughs> she goes by Charm Witch. Oh, yeah, I'm Charm Witch. I'm, yeah. I'm James Montagna. I'm James Popstar of the chat. Sometimes I'll say stuff to y'all. Uh, I'm a director here at Wayne Forward. Uh, worked on an Adventure Time, The Ice King, 3DS, and some other stuff. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yep, you <me> too. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm going to show this game to all these young people who have never heard or, or heard of or seen it before. I have. So, in case no one knows, this is Shantae. Shantae Advance, but the actual name of the product is Shantae Risky Revolution. This is the sequel to the original Shantae. This is the game that you guys never got to play. Um, and, uh, let's see. Um, what, what do I want to say about this? This Okay, so the, the history of this game is... We went straight into development. Well, Shantae for a Game Boy Color um, didn't actually come out until we had already made Scorpion King for the Game Boy Advance. So, Shantae Game Boy Color comes out. We start working on Shantae Advance right after that. And, um, but so you guys are really staring at a debug menu right now, aren't you? Yep. Yeah. 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 Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna yeah feel free to jump in. Um, so. This game was was made um, by look at all those wagon wheels. <clears throat> so so here's what's going on. We got um, Mike Straggy, the guy, the co-creator of Booker Man, came on to make our Game Boy Advance tech. He made everything that we that we developed on for that entire uh, all Game Boy Advance, like that whole generation of games. And he made all the stuff that you're going to see in here for um, like on the programming side. So. Uh, the wagon wheels are because we were going to have a zombie wagon, and these were tests to figure out which synthetic we wobbling wheel looked the best. And we stopped working on the project shortly after that. And this was just a convenient place where you stuck the wheels to be like, hey, which wheel do you think looks good? So we were doing some weird stuff with like, hey, let's do some sprite rotation. There's, we were trying to squish the sprites. Like the bottom right wheel looks pretty cool and squishing and has, you know. anyway. That's that, and then battle mode was four-player game link cable, um, climb on fences and spin the world and make everybody fall and crush each other and stuff. And that's what um, Mighty Flip Champs is actually based on. On this battle mode, we can't play it for you now because we need four copies of the game and a game link cable. I don't have one handy, and I don't know how we get that out from the TV. But let's jump into story mode. So <clears throat> there you go. Now, these are, you guys are hearing music, right? Should be. You guys hear the sound? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yep. All right. So the music, everything you hear, we never, we never got a soundtrack made for this game. So everything you're hearing is from Godzilla Domination, which was our Game Boy Advance game we were making at the time. <laughs> so uh, that's gonna be fun. You're listening to Godzilla music. That's right, you can watch TV if you want, it's cool. <laughs> yeah, Jane, an ad just popped on. <laughs> but yeah, it's kind of funny, just stopping a game in mid-development, I mean, that's what you're looking at. It's a game that was moving along, and then we just, you know, the writing was on the wall, Game Boy Advance, it had all gone the way of licensed games and original games like this one just did not have a shot, and so we just stopped. And uh, most, of the, most of the core systems for this game have been made. Um, you'll see as we go through, there are some interesting things we did to advance the game that um, well, and because it was on a Game Boy Advance controller, everything was built around having shoulder buttons and two face buttons. So, um, if you double tap your your uh, R button, a little eyeball appears, and that's for like looking around. So you can like see, you know, just go have a look, and see what's around you. Um, and that was in response to the blind jumps comments that we had before. There's also a way to store and a creature that you transformed into on the L button, and then you're able to just. Um, instant change with L. So if you want to go from monkey to elephant to mermaid in one shot, you dance, you pre, you pre dance, and then you store them as a magic, and then you spend magic to instantly swap into those creatures. Pretty, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, See, the lighthouse looks really different from how it ended up looking. And yeah, it's revenge for instance. It's totally different style. Yeah, everything here was intended to be very SNES looking. Yeah. Welcome to Shantae Advance demo. Please look around. Give some of the few choice locations from Shantae's quest demo. You get the gist of the game. It's all about air movement, going dancing, using your noggin. Uh, debug? That sounds great. <laughs> I think I'll debug. Yeah, we sent this out to a lot of publishers to see what they thought about it. Um, for now, I'm just going to move, move on. Hey, seagulls. Now, you notice some stuff, like these seagulls came back 
uh, later. You also will notice there's some stuff where um, fans had asked a couple of times if I had ever seen Monster World 4 because there's so many similarities between Monster World and you know, Shantae. Yeah, okay. yeah, I had not seen Monster World 4 when we made Game Boy Color. But when so many people brought it up, I looked it up and found a lot of cool similarities. And you'll notice this sky here, that is temp art that I actually pulled out of Monster World and stuck in the sky. <laughs> so that is not supposed to be, but we would never do that in a shipping product. Um, and uh, have determined that to be kind of an uncool thing to do these days. But back then, to prove out the concept, I just pulled some sky from a, from a game that people seem to think was compatible. Turn off the racket. Uh, they haven't made the real music yet, it's just a demo. Okay, so I guess I'm repeating whatever I said six years ago. Yeah. <laughs> um, Doesn't yeah. sound very genie-ish, though. Right. So, let's go over here. Hey, it's Sky. Look at her. Howdy, Sky. Where's my egg? So, here, very much like um, what we ended up doing in the DSiWare game go get Sky's Egg. So we did end up using that again, you know, for the DSI. First working. thing you do in the results return is you go get the egg. Here it's going to be a little different though. Um, so the egg, the egg is here. So hello, there I am. So here's what's going on in this game. This game, there's we were doing swimming for the first time. So we built up swimming kind of a lot. There's a lot of neat stuff with swimming. Um, Maybe I'll go off. Yeah, I'm gonna spare you from all the sign reading. It's Sky's Egg. It smells sort of uh, like. <laughs> Which I think we changed into it smells like grandma in the yeah. later game. But if you do a running jump, um, you will die. Uh, wow. And we're playing with sprite, sprite rotation and all that kind of stuff, right? So, like, hey, let's do it's a dive. cool thing to do on Game Boy Advance. Right. So, let's do some diving. So, in order to get out of here and return the egg, you have to angle your dive and hit hit this spot, and if you do it, you know, this is a little bit mean, I think that's probably you know, we've lost some players, and I'm talking like some publishers, like probably five of them, because that's the only They couldn't thing. do it. Those, that's the only people who ever got a chance to play this game. Um, so yeah, so we'll go nice. through, yeah, make a perfect dive, get through, and then move on with the game. So, these animations are, um, they are the base for the animations that were used for Risky's Revenge, but they're completely... They look a little different. Yeah, they're completely remade. Um, I have the back, yes. Go ahead, yeah. You can't have your egg back. I always say no. <laughs> so, and the, um, all of the 16-bit redoing of the uh, of this stuff was done by Armando, who you just saw here. Um, not too long ago. I'm totally in here, right? Oh, yeah, here. Hey. Well, no, I, so, saw, I saw you playing it, I'm like... Yeah. Oh, I remember this. Like, Armando, hand. You want to sit here? No, no, no. I just want. All right, come back and just like fast. Yeah, come over in a bit. But Armando animated every pixel on this bird is ridiculous. And then um, he got big, and then he yeah. got small again. Yeah, well, because we're gonna have him get huge. Then we decided, well, we ever made this game, let's just leave him small. Who's that? So yeah, there they go. So you ride around on. Yay. Flappy, flappy, flap. There he goes. Off he goes, yep. Yeah, that was such wow. a long So we had a good one. You're like, City Missing! Sky and Red carry Shantae to the first of six islands, and now Shantae runs in the block with the various things. We had a quick question from Re360, I just wanted to answer. Um, so for all our PayPal backers, you will get a PayPal confirmation that your pledge went through. Um, but just like with our Kickstarter backers, you will receive an email from us asking for what platform you want or your address for uh, quite a while because obviously we have nothing built yet, we haven't developed the game yet. Um, but rest assured that if you got a confirmation from PayPal, your pledge was received, so you're considered a backer by us, so you're all good. Cool. Uh, yeah, I like that the scene missing is using the um, Kani Matsu reporting newsroom music from, from Godzilla. <laughs> oh, somebody asked in the last week, did we release any of our games in Japan? Yeah, Godzilla Domination was our first Japanese release game, and it's really cool because it came with toys packed in the box. There were like these exclusive Godzilla and Mothra, and who's the third guy? King Ghidorah, I think it was? Okay, yeah, that... I, I still have that. Do you? <laughs> Those, yeah. We... And I localized that. Oh yeah! I did all That's the right. localization. For... Yep. <laughs> yeah, the other the other person who did a, just a ton of the sprite, the pixel animation that you're seeing that was redone oh, was no. um, 
was Mark Gomez, who did the, um, um, what's, what's, the, the pug, what's the pug game? That, on pug Irish Run. Pug Run. Yeah. Like TikTok games. Yep. So that was all Mark. Uh, so this was Demon's Crest. I mean, it's Demon's Crest in concept, if you guys ever played Demon's Crest up by Capcom, it's really cool. And um, this this piece of art here, I think, was lifted out of um, something for a test. What, what is it? It looks like Ronald Trigger. <laughs> it's just a test. Is it accurate? Please, please, nobody, uh, please nobody sue us. And we can we can fly and look down. Wow, look at it go. And then you go down and land on the spot. Nice. Right. So um, that's what the game would have been like. Uh, that was just a test. So here we are at the island. That's a new enemy. Yeah, uh, I forgot his name. Bouncy Bounce Guy. Hold the R button to enter what? Look mode. We already talked about that. All right, so here we are. The core concept of this game is front yard, back yard. So you got, now, and you're looking at it on um, on this screen. I'll try not to die like I did in the last playthrough. Um, there's a lot of stuff here that is hard to tell what's on the front and what's on the back, and that's because of the color palettes. On Game Boy Advance, it was really obvious. The washed out stuff was really, really dim. Um, but here playing it on a, a PC, it's more, it's harder, it's a little harder to look at, so uh, my apologies for that. But, like, this guy is in the back. Um, this spider, though, isn't. Um, here's another piece of temp art that was, you know, shamelessly borrowed, if you recognize it, is you got some curved slopes that I believe were based on or repixeled from Sonic Advance, I think. And again, they were, were repixeled. They were repixeled, yeah. Okay, but I remember looking at those and going, hey, we should probably make something kind of like this. Um, Bye, guy. <laughs> yeah, I, I want to eat that. So, other stuff about this demo, I don't think that we ever implemented death. I think if I stand here and take uh, hits over and over, I don't think I'll die. That background with all those trees, I think that was the, the other monster world background. You might recognize that. The blue tree stuff. Um, but yeah, just to kind of demo a couple of things here, because we won't get another chance, uh, is... Subscreen. All right. And we got like an Advance Wars style tearaway subscreen. How cool, right? That's pretty neat. All right, so because for debug purposes, um, I think I can... All right. Monkey, elephant, uh, crab, that's a new thing. Mermaid, spider, harpy, all of their tools. <laughs> Go over here and <laughs> items. Since Bolo has his flail and Sky has wrench, uh, what would be Roddy's specialty? Uh, different. Oh. Yeah. Like, did, like what a would companion? What would be different for Roddy? Yeah, Roddy Tops. She's never had a companion, but there have been a lot of run ins with, with like spiders with her. So something like that could make some sense. So in this one we have um, crystals, which I don't remember why there are crystals, but it was something you're supposed to find a bunch of. Oh, you know what? It's wasn't it to make a. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> but you've got a lot of your standard weapons here, and um, kind of a link to the past style selector. So um, hopefully, I'm sorry, I'm using this on a like kind of a key map setup, so I might uh, screw something up here. There we go. So I got my pike ball. Nice. Let's go beat up that guy that we saw and just hit him like a lot of him. Come here. Do a front flip. Yeah. Damn. He's dead. Can you go into the background? That's a great question, but no game is that cool. So. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we get now. We'll show you. We can go into the background. It's gonna be great. <laughs> this game is that cool. Die. And watch. We can just kill them endlessly. Die, adorable creature. Back. Um, but yeah, we got this. We got our. I think these things all work. Let's check them. Haven't been, these are, have not been field tested for years, years and years. Godzilla Lightning. Godzilla Lightning. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Which um, I forgot what this thing does. What are you? Wait, hold on. Did I not choose that thing? Let's try that. What are you? Get that guy out of here. Let's get a new magic guy. Oh, I think what this thing is... Let me just double check this. No, I don't remember what that is. Um, this, though, the Greedy Jar, this is for whenever you collect money, the Greedy Jar... Oh, I have to have the magic on. Sorry, good. I believe the Greedy Jar gives you extra money. Yep, there he is. He's like, you want money? I'll double your money. <laughs> 
and then when your magic runs out, hey, thanks, pal. Then he goes away. So we're out of magic, but I think I can just see. What is the debug for this? Jump and R. There we go. <laughs> so I get all my stuff back. Yay! And also, I can roll those. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I tried. I mean, I, I did a quick run of it before, hopefully, but my, mostly it's like muscle memory. Muscle memory. Yeah. So what else do we now look at? Um, Twin Mints, I think, is like the original game. I'll take his spot. Yeah, there we go. So this is another interlace trick. What does it look like on the video, Jeff Luke? Does it? Can you see? Um, uh, hold on, I guess we'll see. Are you seeing two Shantae's side by side? Um, hold on, is that a I don't see anything right now. Oh, uh, okay. The interlacing trick is probably breaking. Yeah. Right? But um, what we see is two Shantae's side by side. The muffin, same deal. It's for jumping out of pits, and we've got the invisibility stuff, same deal. So um, one of the things I want to show you guys, because we, again we won't get a chance to look at it any, any other time, is the, some of the transformations. So we'll just do it right here. So dancing, Herpy. we got. I don't remember which ones are on which buttons, so I'm just gonna have to mess around with my find them. Herpy's back. There she is, <laughs> sporting a black hairdo. Got. Let's see, that was there. Who's this? That's Monkey. Monkey's purple. We left purple Monkey in for Shante. Yes, I were for his revenge. Let's get through all the dances just to see them run. Isn't that awesome? There she goes. X? R? Where is it? Where are you? Right? There it is. It's the crab! Oh, Alright. So the crab never got in any other game. He's just here. What does he do? Um, okay, so the crab, the crab, well, he can run, which is awesome. And then he can also, he, I guess it's a she, it's yeah. nothing. <laughs> it, um, it drifts in the water. So when you jump into water, it'll just like parachute down slowly through the water. So the idea was before you get the, the mermaid, you would have the crab. So the mermaid could freely move through water, but the crab could only move like a little bit. So it just drift left and right. Dude, cool. I actually yeah. think I knew that one. You might have, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you probably did. Yeah, no, it, it all came back to Here's spider. spider. Spider could duck and crawl around in this version, and it could also get on... We have a test wall around here somewhere, but I don't know where it is. Um, spider never got fully implemented into this game. We could move here, and I think we might have set up a tree. Got it. Also, if, um, if this is boring and everyone wants me to move on, please, please tell me, hey, hey guy, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Not like this. Not nice. I know there's a place where you can jump on the wall and test out this man. There it is, oh. hang on. Yeah. Alright. Ah, get on there. I should have canceled this game. Alright. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, it crawls on the walls. You got it. Uh, other interesting stuff, the monkey had a thing called monkey, um, like monkey sight or monkey sense, so the, it could see through walls, so when you're the monkey you can look through walls. Um, okay, interesting weird thing about this game is it's all about these, oops, about these gates. Oh, I see. So if you are in the back, you're, you're fighting backyard guys. Oh, and you run on different planes. It's kind of the equivalent of a jump platform in Risky's Revenge. Mm -hmm. So, oh, I should, here, I'll speak to the storyline of this game real quick. Um, the plot, thankfully I don't think I can ever die, because we never put that in. Um, if I keep going, you know, I'll be routed, I'll see these big cliffs I can't get past, so I'll be encouraged to go back through doors again. The plot line of this game is Risky Boots is returned after being beaten by Shantae in the first game, and she wants to take revenge on um, Sequel Land. So she has ticker bats go underground and cut a groove around the entire world of Sequel Land, like all, like sawed all the way around, and um, puts a carousel, like a, like a big mechanism, on the central pillar that holds the entire world up. So, and this is like very, very much, this is going to be crazy, the, the way this stuff works. It's very much inspired by um, the DuckTales episode. With um, what's it called? Uh, well, Earthquake is the episode, but land, land beneath the world. What's it called? You're asking me to call out a name of that <laughs> verbatim right now. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I can't um, it's, it's Earthquake is the name of the, the TV show episode. But I think it's like land beneath the land or whatever. <laughs> you, you get it. <clears throat> anyway, I've been a fan of that for a long time. So um, even even back on this game, there were like Ducktales references in it. So. Uh, We're gonna see that in a second. <clears throat> I think you could combo hit this guy somehow, but I don't remember. You could follow up with like a punch and send him soaring. So, I should use the control pad. Alright, so here's a dungeon. <clears throat> Can't get in, there's no way in. So we move on. I'm just gonna take, take it. Spider, 
did. Wow. <laughs> That's so this is a great place to just like harvest dudes. Harvest dudes. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna just go ahead and. Although I kind of feel like I want to shoot this guy. Nice. <clears throat> it's good. Let's see if I can combo a guy. I know we were starting to put combos in. Every so often you'll see a guy go into a stun state, and that's the time when you can combo him. So we can't progress here. Yeah, it's looking a little choppy. I don't know if you guys are seeing some lag, but the original game does not have that lag. It's nice and smooth. Yeah, like right here is a bit choppy. <clears throat> I like how you make her hair get darker when she's on the Yeah, that's pretty cool. I think that effect is not as pronounced in the DSI we're game. Like. Alright, now let's see if I can do this. Oh, I triggered the cinematic badly. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> excuse me, you can't see it, but Risky's over there on the right side, talking to her men. Um, let's see. This is going to be crazy. Alright, <clears throat> so I just explained we are, the game is all about, yeah, James, you want to check this out, it's pretty fun. Yeah, this is crazy. You can either kill the guys by whipping them, or you, just, or you just jump on this button. When we do, Risky's device activates, and the world scrolls independently. So now everything that used to be in position A is in position B. So this water wheel thing is now getting hit by waterfalls, and if you go back to all of the gates in the in this level so far, they will all be lined up to new locations that have secrets and like those. I think that's what was those crystal areas. areas. Yeah, like all those crystal things we we're looking at before um, are now accessible, and um, everything's completely different. And I think I need to go up and over, so let me do that. Let me do that right So now if I were to backtrack, I'm not going to do it right now, but if I was to backtrack to the other gates, I'd be able to get into all these different spots. <clears throat> now the dead end that I used to bump up against is over here. The cliff um, that provides a ladder that you can see in the background earlier is now a spot that's more um, advantageous. And the uh, dungeon doors are now being powered by the waterfall, right? So is this the first time we ever did layer hopping in a game? Yeah, I think so. I'm yeah, pretty sure. Alright, so now we're in dungeon one. Nice. Or Labyrinth, Labyrinth 1, really, is what, is what we should call it. And if you notice, it's like it's a lot like the other games, but it's Super Nintendo if I... <clears throat> so we've got all kinds of secret stuff. There are some changes in this game that um, other Shantae games don't have. Um, for example... That's the building that is far I think. Is it? Um, where? Like here? No, that up there? It was in the other room. Oh, yeah. That fireball... Yeah, I mean, there's even some neat stuff, like the torches. <laughs> Um, let's see if they do it in this version. Uh, a lot of the lamps douse when you go in and out of the rooms. They like fade out and the flames come back up. A scorpion can <clears throat> back right mm -hmm. Yeah, back there, yeah. So these things, usually we use them as one ways, but in the Chante Advance. Oh wow, it looks so cool. weird to me. It's like it goes against everything I'm wearing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's yeah, really You can't drop through soft collision platforms in the so dungeon to the So here's a locked door. Oh, there it goes. Yep. Yep, so we're good. So, here we, here we want to get up on this ledge if we can. <laughs> so, you just do this. You feed it, and then you get on it. Well, it's, it's eating That's the That's so platform. rude! <laughs> you just sacrificed that one's life. Yeah, progress. You didn't need it. <laughs> so, this is all about getting the, the monkey dance, and let's see if I can even remember where it is. But normally I wouldn't... Uh, That'll do too, right? <laughs> yeah, I don't want to like ruin the game, but what would be A? Oh, it's on B. All right, it's on the B button. All right, so let's remember that. So in prior builds of this game, right now I'd be able to see through walls. It was just like the Super Metroid X-ray scope, so I could see if there was stuff behind the wall. Um, we took that out because we were testing that wagon wheel. Um, Thing. There's a lot of people who are asking how <clears throat> time was um, Shinin's Iridian 2. Right. Like every original game at that time was being cancelled in favor of, um, and I'm talking like across the entire, 
all Game Boy Advance. Um, what do you want to do? Um, Iridium 2 by Shinnan. That was the only... That was the only yeah, original sure. game. Yeah, yeah. I, I seem to remember that one. Okay. Yeah, but everything else just could not survive. If you guys remember all of those games that were being slated for re release by um, Orbital, Orbital was doing Scourge Hive. Um, oh, yeah. They had a thing that looked like a Vance but with pirates. Um, they did a game called, was it Juka? You remember that yeah. one? Juka the Monophonic Menace or something? That's impressive. Like, yes. <laughs> yes. That was not rehearsed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, totally. That game, um, I think that one did eventually come up. But like, with, sorry, back here for a moment, is with your monkey you'd be site, see, yeah, you could you could see and you'd be running through this. So you'd have like a Super Metroid X-Ray scope so you'd be seeing all of these secrets. Um, Dude, I, I remember doing... This is nice. This would be super yeah. weird for you. This yeah. is a while ago. Well, what year was this? 2004? We started right after the game came out in 2002. Yeah. So, yeah, Game Boy Advance engine and tools were very good. We could, there were not a lot of restrictions. This this thing, of course, you know, came back for, you know, for um, Risky's Revenge. A, a lot of people are asking why it wasn't released, and I might have missed that part. If you oh, explain yeah. why we that we tried really, really, really oh, hard we, to release. I it. mean, there there are only so many publishers, and we talked to all of them. Yes, <laughs> so, with and and there was no way to release a game without a publisher paying for it. I mean, there was there, there with, this was before you had um, you know downloadable digital games. So and we jumped on that opportunity as soon as we could with mm -hmm. uh, uh, Risky's Revenge on yes. Cyber. It was the first time that WayForward could publish these games. Yep, yep, exactly. So here we got, um, you know, another of these ridiculous Shantae-ish puzzles. And I am uh, apologize in advance <laughs> for what you're about to see. <laughs> I, don't know, I, don't know I always thought this was hard, like, very horrific. <laughs> So, we got this guy freaking out. We're gonna, we're gonna, I'm gonna hide up here on the ledge. Thing. Um, every so, yeah, and again, you know, not, not a finished polished game, so I'm, I'm going to run. We gotta at least get him to attack once. Come on, come on, guy. Attack once. It's worth it. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. Uh, forgot about that. Yeah. Fireball, there we go. He's dead. It's putting nightmares on you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and it's a said cat <laughs> Wait, because you can't jump? I don't get it. Well, because you wouldn't have been. Oh, because I can't jump. <laughs> Alright, hey, I have a key. I can open it. Why am I going this way? This isn't where the lock door was. Did we see a lock door? We already saw a lock yeah, door. I remember the I'm game completely game. confusing myself. Oh, you know what's really sad? I, all right. So this is just telling you, hey, you can duck and drop through these things. Um, that wall looks suspicious, but I don't think there's anything there yet. That would have been with the weight blocks. Yeah. <coughs> so. <laughs> spanking is just. <laughs> so hey, 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 oh, there was money in there. So. Yeah. <laughs> so this is one of those. This is an example of that stuff that that. You know, we learned from playing lots of Metroid type stuff is, you know, and I can't believe I actually did it, is I was like, where do I go with this key? I completely forgot. Well, yeah. the room drops you back into the neighboring room where you needed the key. So, which it should have, and it's really funny that, it, it's that funny. I forgot. Fresh eyes. This guy's a jerk. Oh. Rosebug. <laughs> Come on, get up here. I kind of did that, dude. Get out of here. <laughs> Very wacky, right? Yeah, it's kind of weird. Die! <laughs> Take your money. And the hearts are kind of orange, we never fixed the ballot on that. I want to combo hit this guy badly, but it's not uh, it's not happening. You know, we can do this um, just for fun, just to drink a potion. Oh, we don't have a drink potion animation. So you've seen at this point about 5% of this dungeon. It's huge. It takes about an hour to go through. So we're going, and there's a couple parts that are, I want to turn around. I'm playing this with an analog stick. This game was not designed for an analog stick. Um, so I don't remember where everything is, but we're going to just kind of push through. Um, I believe there's a locked door downstairs. We've got a swimming room here. Oh wait, no, this is probably the locked door. Let's double check it. Yeah, locked door here. Alright, and there's a speedy reverse one. Oh. I got some treats. Uh, I see we have the, the, the number counters popping up there. We, we brought those back for Sean Payne's first. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, except in this one they were depicting money. Right, they were depicting of damage. And, uh, I'm going to do a quick tour of this big giant hub room. This is like the, the room with the falling leaves in it. Um, I think that each of the four dungeons are going to be based on seasons. I think there was an ice one, an autumn one, a summer one. Um, not, no, no direct reference to Zelda seasons, but... Did any of the major gameplay or levels or themes or anything make it into Risky's, or is it still mostly just a miss? So far, the egg um, quest at the beginning, that that kind of jumping, that kind of, yeah. That kind of yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> Uh, this game, it hasn't really been cannibalized. This is like still a pretty yeah. standalone old game. Yeah, it's pretty relevant. So if we go in here, I mean, you'll see a few things. Like, check this room out. You got this. It's the fountain, like you find in Risky's Revenge, right? Too bad I don't have anything to toss in. So the concept is a little different. In that game, when you find the fountain, you get a transformation. In this game, you find the fountain, but then you have to go find something else to put in the fountain. So and we don't have we don't have that. So we're kind of looking for that. So we're looking for a key, and we're looking for the things in the fountain right now. Um, and this this game is more complicated, and it stacks concepts a little more um, uh, or more ruthlessly. So now we got this this guy. Oops. <laughs> um, now in this game, Shantae cannot climb on ropes. Um, but uh, the monkey can. Oh, and that's something that is like one of those things we always have to watch out for is how you go downstairs. So, um, okay, so let's just, assuming I don't have the monkey yet, I can't deal with this yet. So we'll play this legitimately. I will pretend I don't have monkey and I will go and search for it. Okay. Right, so to get monkey, uh, so so far now we so now we've got like multiple things we're after, right? Mm -hmm. Do it for a key, we can put something to the fountain. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm thinking that fountain gives you the monkey, right? Yeah, the fountain will give you the, will give you the monkey. Look at that oh. save guy, it looks different. Would you like me to save over your old file? Yes. Oh wait, you yeah. left a demo. Okay. That's so funny because we did that again in our recent demo. Yeah. Okay, so now what do we got? Big freaky room. This winch device is broken down. If only Leon Kennedy had a wing nut. So this is gonna be hard because Whoa. The, the, the lag on, on this, this is very like bubble man twitch stuff, so. Just the wall. <laughs> ah, he needed to, he was asking for it. And now we got another thing. Now we're like six things deep that we can't deal with. Plus we got this thing. So it's that good, huh? Yeah, it's like I said, it's kind of a lot more complicated than Okay, so here's a place where I might have to do a bit of cheating. Um, this puzzle worked and then the build that we were able to find in an archive, the puzzle isn't working. So I'll just describe it to you. Um, we got four buttons, and if you guys ever had those banks that were like throw your quarters and dimes down it. That's what this is based on. So what you're supposed to do is look at what you made, look at the picture up at the top, and then you know deduce the order of, of these things and then hit it. But for some reason our buttons aren't working once you do one round of it. And I can leave the room and come back, um, but it's still uh, but since it was designed to scramble and answer every time, yeah. I don't know what it is. I mean, I'll try it once. If we happen get to get lucky, lucky that would be amazing. Um, no, <laughs> I did not get lucky. And it doesn't matter because I can fly cheat, so we'll just... Let's pretend that I just saw this puzzle, got a key, and whipped the chest open, right? Yeah, you got the key, right? right. So I got my key. Pretend I got my key. Everyone's cool going into their imagination zones and pretending I got a key, right? Oh, we totally got that key. Yeah. You all saw it. Uh, yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty lengthy. So yeah, like um, you know, one of the things that was so. How big is it? How big is it compared? Do you think what the final game would have been? Uh, it's about well, we said that it was going to be eight. I think it said eight dungeons. So the game would, was expected to be around 20 hours long. But so, this demo took about two hours for the first time. Yeah. Oh. Um, 
Um, let's see here. So we got our key. Oh, you know what? We have our keys. We'll be going up here. Um, now, if we remade this game now, that might be a little bit crazy of a length of game. I mean, even just how far apart you know, the pacing of this game would be a little bit odd you know, by, by today's standards. Um, so, uh, but yeah, the shame in this one that it didn't get released is that, um, oh, right, hang on, is that uh, enough stuff was made that all the core systems for everything in the game did exist. It was just a matter, we were already at the point where most of this stuff is bug free, so it was just a matter of um, starting to mass produce. I just have to remember where the, <laughs> where the fly sheet was. It seems like this one could go on to influence a lot of other Sean games as well. You could take ideas and maybe sometimes the really like sprites and stuff too. So it was jump, it was jump and R. That's your flight speed. Jump and R, yeah. All right. So, all right, so I spent my key, I have no keys left. You might recognize some stuff from this room, though. Okay, this is going to be really hard to do without a Game Boy Advance controller because it's the, it's the hardest part of the whole thing. Oh, you know what? I'll take it. Uh, it's, it's all about timing, bruh, and then running. Oh, you know what? I forgot. Uh, run? There's also a run shortcut on the R button. So I can just be in run mode permanently. Just the slightest bit of lag might make this just too difficult. And if, if I bore you guys, I'll just punch you. Nope. All right. Did but it. if you remember when you um, areas in Risky's Revenge, you come back with a monkey, and there's like secret up and over sections. This is one of them. He takes you a narrow path through one. All right. So first, we'll check out this area. We gotta do. Okay. Come on, combo. I want to see the combo happen. Oh, he's dead. Do anything here? So we'll help. It's fun to watch those guys die. <laughs> totally satisfying. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can break it. Pop me through the wall. Oh. <laughs> you know exactly what I'm talking about, right? It's like, let's see if that platform will lift me out of the... Out of the world. Out of the world, yeah. Um, oh, it's you. It's very good. Yeah. I mean, it's really important that when you have a joke that you just repeat it. <laughs> over and over. Let's... Let's pee ball him. Dude. I don't know if he had a name. Guy, like, guy really Spanky Big Spanky. Yeah, a Guy in Coffin. <laughs> spanky. Now he'd be like Spanky Joe. I yeah, think you can also... Joe. This game, I think you can stack damage too. I think if he's getting hit by the pike ball and getting whipped, I think he takes both. Oh, stop it. <laughs> Is there any reason, storytelling-wise, like in your head, why it seems like most of the characters in the Shantae world, the males are very goofy and silly, and the females are more kind of like... Uh, a little more straightforward. Like, why, why do you think you go very silly on your guys? I think it's a... I mean, if it's like other people's creations, it's some sort of a funhouse mirror of their image of themselves or the world. I don't know. I don't know. Dork. So, um, this... Okay, so here again, we, we'd have to pretend. But yeah, I, I, I'm not sure. That just developed that way. Like, people have recognized it, and so I've been more embracing it now. It's like, yeah, this is the way it is. Um, so we'd have to pretend we got a key here too, right? All right, so now we have a uh, key, and there was a... We didn't see a locked door, though, did we? We cleared the locked door. But there was a locked door here. Is that one? Okay, so we would have just had the key for that, and we'd be out. So now we're, we are now keyless again. And... Oh, look at that! Did you see that? Yeah. Cool. I could, like, see through the wall. <coughs> here. Um, I know what that was though, that was the sprite starting effect that is how we made the, um, the monkey be able to see through walls. Mm -hmm. Alright, so here's a weird one. This is gonna, ooh, this is gonna blow your mind. It's just the most amazing thing ever. So, we got a thing, right? It's a thing, and then, and you know, these ended up being it's things. magic seal. These are things you collect in Risky's Revenge, but in this game it was just a, a weird object to whip. Alright, so... Man, I almost want to see here. You got I gotta let James figure this one out. Okay, so it's just do it. just using jump and attack, try to figure out what this is, because it's really bizarre. I'm making you just like totally on the spot you need to go. Oh, I hope you don't mind. What is that? I want to hit that. I want the key to enter oh. that hole. Like there. Yeah! yeah awesome. did it. <laughs> Alright. You got the You get that. <laughs> so you yeah. Can we just press the thousand eight? Uh, uh, we're at a thousand eight viewers. Oh, nice! Hi, nice. 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 thousand eight, everybody. 
Yeah, That's welcome. A lot of people. Yeah. yeah. So for anyone just joining in, we're playing the unreleased Shante Risky Revolution for Game Boy Advance, and this is the game that was the canceled Shante game that um, you might have you might have heard about at some point in time. But I don't think we can fit that many people in this room. It's kind of small. Is everybody okay? Do you need like water? <laughs> 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 Don't forget to use the restroom. All right, so we got a dance charm, which you can imagine that that goes to the fountain. Yeah, to the to the fountain, okay. which means we'll have our monkey, which means we can start exploring this place with the monkey. And ah, no, 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 you know what? Our button, our button. Ends up ten minutes left. Ten minutes left. Oh, we can do that in ten minutes. So if we if we go over ten minutes, I think it might be worth it to finish this out since yeah, we're yeah, so yeah. close to the to the end. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just get her. Take the, yeah, we got things to do. The pearl strategy. You know what? In fact, we have a lot of things to do. Let's just do this. We call that fly cheat. It's a debug feature we use uh, during development to get around places really fast. In every in just about every game, we have a fly cheat. <laughs> All right, so we're big cheaters. <laughs> You're a dirty cheat. Dirty cheat. All right. I have fingers on Connor playing my game. Fingers on Connor playing my game. All right, so here we are. I won't do that anymore. So here's um, what a weird fountain. Um, should I toss in my dance charm? No, not yet. <laughs> sure. Do it. Okay, everybody on the internet, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Yeah, I don't know what that weird black thing was, but um, hi. But you get totally nakedy nude Shante. <laughs> what are you? Did you come from the genie town? Oh, my wishes. So I guess I wish to be blue and covering and sans clothing. Um, I seem to be black. So this is my. This is all placeholder dialogue. <laughs> you guys probably know that, right? Monkey! I got monkey dance. Nice. Press the a button while dancing to change into a monkey. You can also press the B button to change me into a harpy, but if you do that, you'll spoil the game. All right, well, we don't want to spoil the game. So I've got, I've got monkey now. And I did. Uh, you spoil the game. There we go. All right, so um, yeah, we're the we're the monkey, and you notice there's like a nice little shortcut here. You know why I'm doing that too. I think it'll be a Y or Y. Um, yeah, but see that arrow in the top left corner? There's like a arrow, like hey, hey guy, I'm an arrow. Um, oh, and I was just explaining, and I didn't do it. All right, so if I um, if I press the L button, it stores monkey for instant use at the cost of magic. So if I want to be jumping along and just monkey, I can do that and I can mid, like I could jump over a pit and I could like we mid jump. Monkey, yeah, I could monkey. I could monkey, 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 and I could switch it. Yeah. Um let's see, we're going to where are we going? I'm trying to remember now. I know eventually we're going this place. But wasn't there there's the a tongue guy. Oh yeah. Okay. So we're going. Yeah, we're going here. Okay. Good. So I'm going the right way. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just. That would have been a handy spot to have done that too. Mm -hmm. And that was assuming that the dance process was going to be a little more like beat based and longer and take some time to input. I'm, I'm shortcutting when you see me turn into the monkey. Uh -oh. So now we're doing some like, you know, Mario Mario World um, right. style. Right. Platform. Platform. Yeah. Shame. Shameful rip off. <laughs> Might have shame. <laughs> All right, look at you. Yeah, I'm awesome. And uh, now, did we have a key? Did, I don't, did we use our imaginary key? Do you have to go back? <laughs> yeah. You, are we here? So, for expediency, let's. Am I gonna get hurt by these? No. All right. <laughs> Should you just go through? I could, but there's a great. I think there is a great puzzle under there. Okay. But we'll we'll cheat. We'll cheat our way through for to make it faster. Oh, and I could monkey through there and like shortcut. Right? Shortcut. Yeah. Um, so where would that have been? There was the room with the. It was the room where the floor, the blocks would sink. 
she like, like my game? What's going on with it? I'm ruining it. Oh, uh, wait a second. Isn't this the room where we got the... I love how I don't know my way around. It is. We want to go back to the... That's what we got. Oh, oh, I guess doors work while you fly. Alright, so back in this big room, if we were to have taken the bottom door, because eventually there was a room with a... You notice there's one save in this entire place, right? Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're just going to speed through here. Yeah, we came to this room. So we blew right through here and moved on and we got whatever we got in there. Um, but if we were to go here, we can jump on this thing and then spraying off of it. Oh, wow. That was pretty cool. Anybody who's played Sigma Star Saga might recognize the explosions. Um, those explosions weren't um, ripped off from Sig Sigma Star Saga, it was actually the other way around. On Sigma, we were. Oh dear. But, um, um, on Sigma, we did, uh, we, we borrowed some Shantae Advance assets because this game had been ended at that point. So I'm like, well, we got a great explosion, we might as well use it. Um, I have not been in this room for a very long time, so I don't really remember what's in here. Oh gosh. It's you. And in water. This guy in water, no less. Um, we're gonna fireball him. Oops. See, the mermaid looks a little bit. Oh, I forgot about the mermaid. Hang on a sec. Let's just do a quick... Um, hey, that door's broken. Oh, look at, it. Look at that. Uh, hey, Whoa. look at you. She's That's crawling really about. That's a unusual version of mermaid shop there. Oh, the water. This is not actually set as water. We'll go, we'll go swim. Let's pretend water. Yeah, we'll go swim sometime. Um, uh, I don't know what... I don't remember this place. What's going on with the ceiling? I'm afraid. I don't like being in this strange room with an invisible guy. <laughs> I can't be seen. And there's doors that are closed. Why don't we fly cheat out? That seemed a little... Um, this is one of those places where you'd use your monkey power to get in. Alright, well, I'm going to apologize for the, de the detour, and we're just going to... Um, Go back to where that that puzzle was all about getting. We, we would have gotten either, so yeah. we just got one imaginary key. Yeah. All right, and we'll just continue to speed our way through. Hopefully, this isn't overly disorienting for for all you guys. So here we are. We just um, cleared that puzzle. So yeah, I should have taken James' advice and come through the door. <laughs> like, there we go, this is interesting stuff. Yeah, I recall that being some kind of big one. Oh, it's really cool. Oh, it's you guys! Fool me once. Stab me with green barbs ten or more times. Shame on me. <laughs> it's just something like that. Are those... oh, okay, nice. No, they just... they just hurt a lot. Alright, we're just gonna move on. So this is our hardest version of that room. Where you have to delay a little bit so your head doesn't catch on these blocks up top. Alright. I hit my guts. How do we... Alright, so yeah, monkey time. You know what? We'll get to play with this mechanism in the end after all. Alright, let's just wait for this bomb to go off. Let's it's, just wait I for the like bomb to go off. Like yeah. that fire <laughs> Combine fire with bomb or something. <laughs> oh! <laughs> you blasted it closed. <laughs> oh, I'm terrible. You just sabotaged yourself. So unfortunate. There you go. Do it! Bomb! And this again is a case where that's why we have the shortcut in this game is that we transform in and out of monkey. Like really quickly. So 
if I can get it down the pit, that would be awesome. There we go. It's my lookity cam. Oh, we can get the switch points. Yeah. <laughs> the lookity cam, yeah. <laughs> Alright, what is this? Oh, look! A really big, cooler, more special looking treasure chest with a wing nut. I can use this to enter the monster's lair. Good, good. Oh yeah, we're having fun now, aren't we? We're presuming there's a monster in there. Right. Are you guys ready for the gigantic reveal? Let's do this. Get ready. <laughs> if you thought the cliffhanger in, in uh, Risky's Revenge was bad, this witch device is broken down. Should I use it? No. <laughs> All right, nothing happened because we have to do this. You should just have to say sure or okay. Yeah, sure. sure or okay. No, it's like no, okay, yes, and very yes. Very yes. <laughs> hey, look at that. Let's go in it. Right. Get ready. Get ready for the coolest boss of all time. No more. <laughs> but you do get some kind of. Well, you Ford's phone number. You get. <laughs> yeah, nobody dialed that number. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> Hold on, quick. Let me hide this. It doesn't this. work anymore, does it? We're gonna find out. Yay! <laughs> Call it now. <laughs> um, someone asked if Spanky Joe will be uh -huh. in Half GD. <laughs> Spanky I, I Joe. Think, I think Spanky <laughs> Joe needs to, like, just not ever appear in anything. <laughs> <laughs> Please do not blow up that person's phone number. <laughs> Everyone's calling. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Is that that poor person. <laughs> Is Matt calling it? Yes. <laughs> it's ringing. <laughs> oh my gosh. According to the. According to the. Um, Thing of my phone, I think it's just my boss's number, so that's all right. Well, that's good. Oh gosh! All right. Well, if you would like to publish this game and you have lots of money, then by all means call John Beck, and he's going to have to change his phone number. It's done. Oh my word! I'm so sorry. All right. Well, um, yeah, we're about out of time. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, we'll, no, we'll, no we'll be back to see that yet, huh? We'll be no, back we'll momentarily. Yeah. Yeah. So and next up is, let me check, what is it? Next up is Pirate's Curse demo with our very own James and or oh. Jeff. Let's do it. So, mm -hmm. yep. all right, we'll be right back. Cool, Thank thanks. Thanks a little bit. Bye.